Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is a really important day for me because this is the announcement video for my next Indiegogo project. And I'm really, really excited for it. If you can't tell, like my brain is ready to explode. No, but seriously, this is for... Um, a new project called Fingering the Mundane, which is a new project, but an old project at the same time. It is a collection of my first five chapbooks, and those five chapbooks are out of print um, of poetry that I released, like my early poetry stuff. And then um, it also has... Um, a unpublished slash unfinished um, chapbook of poetry that um, I was going to do. You're getting um, six chapbooks in one bind up that is um, about 250 pages. And um, so I guess I could just go over all of these with you real quick. Um, so the first one is All My Friends Are Dead. Um, this was kind of like my um, first attempt at um, doing a poetry chapbook. And um, it was written during a time when, I don't know, you reach an age where people you know um, are old enough to start dying. Like, I don't know a better way of putting that. And um, it's kind of depressing now that I think about it. It got to where there was a period where quite a few people who I really cared about seemed to all be going one after another. And um, it just put a lot of shit in perspective for me. And it was kind of one of those things where, like, you don't want to waste time, you know? Like, um, you know how we always say, like, oh, well, once, like, I'm done with this thing, and, you know, once, like, my job kind of opens up a little bit, and once, like, I'm done with all the shit around the house I have to do and I have time to actually sit down and blah, 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 blah. You never have that time. You have to make time. You have to fucking, like, be the timekeeper. You have to be the one who um, allows you to do these things or else you'll never do them. And so this book, in a way, was, like, helping me be okay with just going forward with stuff that I know, like, I'm not gonna, like, say anything earth-shattering here, but poetry is not a lucrative field. <laughs> it really isn't. So, um, doing it, because I was in this, like, bubble where, or trap even, where I was writing a bunch of shit, selling it on Amazon, writing shit that, like, was cool to write, but, like, I wasn't emotionally invested in the stuff I was writing, and it became a job. Even though I was doing a creative venture, it became a job. Poetry for me has always just been such a freeing um, and like flowing kind of thing. Um, so writing All My Friends Are Dead was really, really helpful for me to like focus on, um, like put into perspective what was important to me. So that one's in there. Um, the Exhausted Bird, um, if you don't catch the meaning of that, that's what that is. Um, and I was just getting so tired of having to fucking flip people off all the time. It was like, it seemed like one after another, like people were just pissing me off and like cutting me off in, the, on, in traffic or fucking um, just being assholes in town, you know. And um, so I wrote a book of poems that was basically just like, I am so fucking exhausted 
having to be the one to let all these people know they're fucking assholes. <laughs> it sounds so stupid now when I say it. But anyway, so um, that's that one. And so both of those, they weren't short by any means, but they were like, um, I don't know, like the size of like my normal chat books. Maybe a little smaller, actually. And then the next one was Ingrown Air. And um, I don't know why I thought that was clever when I named that. But um, I wanted to, like, the artwork on it. Like, I just wanted to do something really basic. And um, I don't know. Like, it just all seemed... <laughs> it all seemed like a really good idea at the time. Um, but... And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. But, so that one was like 75 pages. Um, it was a chunker. And then um, I had Acid. And Acid um, is basically one poem that's really long. Like pages long. Like 14 or 15 or 20 pages long. One poem. And then some other poems um, after it. But the whole thing with these two books was that I was having... I was going to be at this um, zine expo um, or zine convention. And I started going through my stuff. And I'm like, oh my god, I only have like five copies of All My Friends Are Dead left. And like like maybe 10 copies of the exhausted bird. And I think at this time, um, I had the first three issues of weird mask out and I'm like, that's all I have. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was just like panicking the day before. Cause like the whole like week before I was like making sure my table was okay. Like having shit to have on my table, like getting like, uh, like a tablecloth and like getting out spray paint and spray painting it and like just doing a bunch of shit. And, um, then it was like the night before I'm like, I have fucking nothing to sell almost. So, um, I took, <laughs> I took ingrown air and acid and, um, I think I made like 20 or 30 copies of each and, um, bound them up and everything, which was hard as fuck binding up a 75 page fucking poetry book. But anyway, I am like going so off the rails here. So I put these out and, um, realized I never edited the poems like, and I don't do like a shit ton of editing, but I like to fucking make sure shit spelt right. So anyway, so like I made, I think it was 20, 20 copies of each sold them at this thing completely full of errors and so that like broke my heart those two books have never been in print with everything edited correctly um and then dnf'd um was the last one and i i think i made this one for an event too and it's kind of short um, compared to the other ones. But um, I only made enough for that event. And um, I think I might have one around here somewhere. But um, so that never even really got like a good release. And then um, the one I was working on at the time was one called Rats. And it was poems about all the pet rats I've had through my life. And um, I put it together originally because I had just got my kid, um, a pet rat for Christmas and like the full on cage and everything. And so I wanted to write a bunch of poems about the rats of my life. And, um, so I did like four or five of those. And then, um, I had other rats to write about, but then I was like going like, man, like these other rats weren't that important to me. <laughs> like I don't really have a whole lot to say about them. Um, so I just like kind of put that project off and never did anything with it. Um, so yeah, so those are the, um, chapbooks, um, that are going to be in this collection. 
fingering the mundane, like the title of it is just like, and I've talked about this before, like I find a lot of horror and anxiety and stress in everyday things. And, um, like I wanted to actually call this book fucking the mundane, but, um, I didn't know how that would go over. So fingering the mundane it is. Um, and I don't know. I feel like there's so many writers who try to find like the craziest shit to write about and the fucking craziest monsters and creatures and like just big giant fucking problems, you know? Um, and I'm more of the mindset that there are so many fucking horrific things around us on any given day that the need to like really create something big, um, is almost silly. Like I, I find more more horror in finding a trail of ants in the kitchen than I would of an alien invasion or something, you know, like, um, I don't know. There's just, there's things that, uh, really shake me to the core and a lot of it is really stupid. But if I can make you believe that, um, just like in, the anxious anxiety book, um, sitting on the toilet and having your legs fall asleep. Um, if that isn't one of the world's biggest problems and should fucking fill someone with fear, um, I don't know what is, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, with that said, um, this one is different than my last crowdfunding campaign in the sense that in my last crowdfunding campaign, I didn't really have a lot to show for anything. Um, in this one, there's a ton of stuff to show for stuff, if that's correct. And then um, you get a bunch of shit with it. So I have different tiers where um, I'm bundling up like um, the end of everything, which was my other crowdfunded book. Um, this with, uh, fingering the mundane. And then there's also ones that have, um, like you can get all the chat books that I have in print right now, um, out and, um, with, uh, the book or with everything and audiobook versions of both the end of everything and fingering the mundane. And, um, yeah, and just so you know, if you aren't, like, really aware, um, like, the end of everything was 100 pages, okay? A slim volume of poetry. Um, so this is, the Fingering the Mundane is going to be 250. So, and, um, I say about because depending on, um, how much we raise and what my stretch goals end up being, the book could end up longer, um, it could end up having um, just a couple more sections added to it. Um, so we're going to say roughly, uh, uh, 250 pages, but it could go up. So depending on, um, what we do here. Also other things, um, that could come up with this. The end of everything was fucked from the start because as soon as I launched it, um, this thing, what was it called? Oh, fucking COVID and lockdown happened. And, um, so a lot of my, um, perks like, um, coming and doing readings and, um, just live events and stuff like that kind of just went to the shitter because like we couldn't do anything like that. So now, um, those goals or those perks are back in this, but they're um, cheaper than they were before because I just didn't know how much I should charge for stuff. So now I know a little bit more. So um, they're cheaper, and then they also come with, if you are familiar with my um, poetry course workshop thing, um, Poetic Anarchy, um, these come with a 
like a one day crash course, um, where I'll do like the whole course in a day with you or like you have people come and, and you know, charge whatever the fuck you want, you know, like, I don't know how these things work, but, or do it for free. Yeah. Like it's up to you, but I'll do that. And then, um, later, um, in the day do a reading and that's, uh, there's a Southern California, um, perk for that. And then there's a U.S. perk for that. Um, and I'll, I will help you in any way I can setting that up. If that's something you want to do, that would be freaking awesome. And then, um, then we get to just hang out and drink all night. So score on that one. So yeah, so there's all sorts of stuff. There's a lot more things in here. Oh, and then if you are one of my patrons on Patreon, you get a lot of other free shit, um, with whatever perk you sign up with. Um, and some of those things are probably going to be like chat books, bookmarks, postcards, um, a bunch of little things like that. But, um, that I haven't nailed that down, but uh, that will be done. And so if you're on Patreon, I'll have a video for that up too. Thing that I almost forgot <clears throat> was, um, and what brought it to my mind was I was watching, um, bookish do a Saturday hodgepodge and, um, he brought up the pixies, but, um, one of the poems in fingering the mundane, um, is about Kim deal from the pixies and the breeders or what have you. And, um, so I have a broadside for, um, this book that um, a lot of the perks have included in it. So you'll get this broadside with the book as well. I'm still talking. So down below, there will be a link to take you to a page that will send you a reminder when this goes live, which will be August 1st. And this is only going to run for 30 days instead of the last one that ran for fucking ever. But so in 30 days, so from August 1st to August 30th, we're going to try to knock this out of the fucking park so we could do this. So down below, um, uh, use the link, sign up so you could be reminded for it. And um, next Sunday, we're going to have a fucking launch party live that's going to be sick as fuck. And I don't know any other words for it. So anyway, this video was longer than words I'm not going to say because I'm trying to be good right now. And um, yeah, so I really hope you feel um, inspired to join me on this fucking journey of putting out a bunch of my early poems. Um, it's going to be loads of fun. And, um, yeah, I just thank you in advance for helping me out and, um, and I will see you soon.